Welcome to the Millennium Village simulation tutorial. The MV Sim was created as a teaching tool to help students appreciate the complexity of meeting the Millennium Development Goals in a rural African setting, and to experience the interdisciplinary nature of sustainable development. In the Millennium Village simulation, users are placed in the role of a two-person family in a small African village. They are expected to guide their family and village through 50 years, facing challenges to their survival while trying to invest in the health and infrastructure of the family and the village. In order to survive, users are required to satisfy three basic needs of their family water, raw food, and cooking fuel. To satisfy the three basic needs, users may allocate their family members' effort to the following activities. Farming, fishing, activities which garner raw food, fuel wood collection, which is used for cooking fuel, water collection, and small business activities, which can generate income for the family. A family's effort is aggregated before being distributed to activities. Thus, a two-person family, with each member working 12 hours per day, provides the family with 24 person hours to distribute over the five activities. Once effort allocation is finished, clicking on the End Turn button will increment simulation time by six months and display a report to users that shows the outcome of the decisions they made in the previous turn. Because our family's efforts resulted in a surplus of raw food, we were able to sell some of that food at the local market for a small profit. In lean times, having a nest egg can mean the difference between life and death. Water, however, is not sold on the local market, so effort that results in a great surplus of water is, perhaps, not optimal. Once users review the report, they can close it and start the decision-making process once more. Other family decisions include such things as borrowing money from a rural bank, investing in a small local business to try to pull the family out of the poverty trap, and investing in family improvements that protect the family from disease or increase its production. Family money can be acquired, as we have seen, from selling goods at market and from borrowing from the rural bank. Small business effort and investment can also result in monetary gain when approached wisely. All family money is stored in the family fund, which serves as the account from which family improvements are purchased. As users advance, they can start making decisions that affect their entire village by setting such things as tax rates and resource quotas, and purchasing larger scale improvements for the community as a whole. Tax collections fill up the village fund, which serves as the account from which village improvements are purchased. The History tab allows users to review key results over the course of a session. This might be useful, for example, to examine trends in agricultural productivity, disease prevalence, or fishing, in order to better set policies and decide what investments to make. Results can also be downloaded for analysis. 
Users are also encouraged to explore the Companion Help site. This site gives more information on elements and concepts present in the simulation, including real-world factual information on each topic, and suggestions for further reading. To get to the site from the simulation, just click on the Help button in the menu bar. Working with the Millennium Village simulation and its documentation will help users get a feel for life in a rural African village, as well as appreciate the complexity of getting out of a poverty trap, where life is so precarious that even the best laid plans can be wrecked by uncontrollable events such as droughts or epidemics. In addition, the Millennium Village simulation allows users to experience the challenge of sustainable development as an interdisciplinary problem involving agronomy, public health, education, environmental science, and economics. We hope you enjoy your experience with the MVSIM. This concludes the MVSIM tutorial.